Epic Streams is a non-profit video advertisement source that hosts many variety of medias on its website, including radio, in-house shows, and composed music. Link in the description below. What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Popular Video Games here. Chilling out, Max, now doing my thing. All right, guys, now in today's video, we're going to be talking about The Flash, Season 4, Episode 2, My Fan Fiction. Let's get into this. The episode starts off with The Flash running through the city, plagued by constant guilt. As Barry's running, he sees a family playing with their son. Barry then has flashbacks of a similar situation with his family when he was younger. Saddened, he runs off to the base, and as he walks in, his head is in the clouds. He is slapped by Iris. Where were you? Iris, it's not his fault, Joe says. Iris, what happened? Don't leave me in the dark here. Barry looks over and sees Wally on the table. He walks slowly towards Wally's unconscious broken body. What happened? Who did this to you, Wally? Captain Boomerang, Cisco says as he walks in. Barry cracks a smile. Captain Boomerang? He couldn't have done this to Wally. This, this is far beyond his capabilities. Not if he's a meta, Cisco says. Barry looks over. Why would Wally be fighting a meta? The room goes silent. Bear? Joe says in confusion. Are you all right? Barry looks to the side of the table and sees a new costume. He looks at Wally and says, Kid Flash? Iris walks up close to Barry. Did I hit you harder than I think? Barry looks at her in confusion. Remember, after the accelerator sent you to the speed force, it hit Jesse and Wally. Jesse is now starting to show signs of what Wally did only a few days ago. Barry, are you really all right? Iris questions. Barry shakes his head and runs out the room. What's going on with him, Joe says. I understand he lost his family, well, his one family, but it seems like it's more than that. Barry runs to the spot where Wally is attacked. As Barry is searching, he dodges three boomerangs that tore into the steel frame behind him. Barry looks around. Two more come his way. He dodges easily, but notices something. His suit is getting minor tears and cuts out of nowhere. Barry begins to run in a circle, creating a lightning cyclone. He begins to look around and starts to see electricity striking something. Kind of like a bug zapper, as he thinks. Barry stops, and Captain Boomerang can be heard in the background laughing. Barry quickly turns around and charges at Captain Boomerang. As he's running, he can see Boomerang pulling out his weapons. Barry quickly knocks Captain Boomerang on his back with the boomerang in his hand. Barry now standing over Captain Boomerang. Looks like you're not so special. Now how did you beat Wally like that? Captain Boomerang looks up and smiles. The boomerangs in his hand disintegrates and then recreates itself, cutting up Barry's right shoulder. Barry hits the ground and the vibration causes his suit's tracker to reactivate. Back at the lair, everyone is now connected to Barry. They see his vitals as well as the audio and video of the fight. All they can do is watch. Barry clutching his shoulder in pain. How are you here? How, he says. Back at the lair, Iris is about to communicate with Barry, but is stopped by Caitlin. What are you doing? Let me... Keelan interrupts. Look at how Barry is acting. Something is up. Don't you want to see? Back to the dockyard, Barry is bleeding, kneeling as Captain Boomerang walks around him. Barry continues to scream. You're not supposed to have powers. You're not supposed to be here. Captain Boomerang starts chuckling. You're saying a lot of what I am not supposed to be. But what you're not asking is, why am I to be in the first place? Well, of course you don't need to ask. You already know. I'll, I'll kill you, Barry screams. You already did that. Boomerang glares at Barry, and then he creates seven boomerangs and sends them flying towards Barry. Barry begins to sprint up the building next to him as two of the boomerangs crash into the wall. Then they break into four separate smaller boomerangs, and then they begin to chase Barry. Captain Boomerang then yells, Because of my ability to manipulate cells, I was taught a nice little trick. The smaller an object is the less rim resistance. That means the more you dodge, the faster they come, Flash, Boomerang says with a smile. The Flash continues to dodge the Boomerangs, destroying a whole side of a building. The Flash runs right in front of Boomerang, and then begins to mock him. <laughs> Too slow. Looks like with all that power and all that talk, you still can't catch me. 
but unknown to Barry. Above him, hundreds of tiny boomerangs about the size of a bullet begin to rain down on Barry, cutting and slicing up his entire body. Captain Boomerang sits and laughs as Barry is screaming. I did it! I finally killed the Flash! And next is that cocky son of a bitch arrow. Back at the lab, the team looks in horror. Cisco prepares to open a breach when Iris screams into the mic, Barry! Barry slowly losing consciousness, hears Iris' voice and screams, Iris! Then, white light starts to form around Barry, destroying all the boomerangs and knocking Captain into a solid brick wall. Captain Boomerang can barely keep his eyes open from the wind pressure off the lightning. Captain Boomerang sees that the white lightning is not only destroying the boomerangs, it's healing Barry. Every muscle ripped open. The slashes on his eyes are regenerating. The parts of his body that are torn open showing his heart and lung are being fully regenerated. Barry then opens his eyes and looks upon Captain Boomerang. As Boomerang is laying on the ground and in fear, frozen, he tries to make more boomerangs, but the flash starts to burn away his flesh with the lightning and then says, Didn't I say I would kill you? Barry raises his hand, prepared to fire the white lightning at Boomerang. Cisco makes a breach. Iris tries to keep screaming at Barry, but Kayla then says, Everything's fried on his end. It's no use. Cisco breach will not open as well. I think it's Barry's lightning. I can't open a breach near him. Iris continues to scream, Barry! Barry then gives a plain expression and fires the lightning at Boomerang. Just then, the lightning is redirected left of Boomerang into the road man's crystal. Boomerang looks over and screams, Save me, Alchemy! He's a monster! Barry then turns and looks at Alchemy. Just then, the white lightning starts to fade away as Barry falls to the ground. Once the lightning is dispersed, Alchemy helps Boomerang up. The two then set their sights on Barry. Just then, Joe and Sisko jumps out of the breach. As Joe fires nine bullets at Alchemy, Sisko runs to help Barry. Alchemy deflects the bullets and then fires a blast at Joe, tearing off the skin on his left rib cage. Joe lying there, bleeding and in pain. Sisko fires a vibe at Alchemy, only to have it blocked by Captain's Boomerang. Sisko then fires at the ground, creating a dust cloud. Then, using that time, he throws Barry into a breach, grabs Joe, and then throws him, and then jumps at himself, all before the dust clears. Captain Boomerang drops to the ground, screaming in agony as his burnt cells continue to degrade. As he's screaming, Alchemy then begins to heal him with the Philosopher's Stone. What? What is that? How can he do all that? It's worse than I imagined. He still retains some of the pure speed force. We might have to wake the gods up early. Back at base, everyone falls out of the breaches. Iris runs to Joe. Don't worry about me. Is Barry alive, he says. Iris begins to shake Barry over and over, but he's not responding. Guys, thanks again for watching my Flash Season 4 fan fiction for Episode 2. Thanks so much. I know it's been weeks since I actually put up one of these videos. I'm actually going to be doing it once a week. Things have been hectic. Me growing epics, promoting, doing different everything, guys. Things are just very much the same. So please give me some time and I will make sure to upload these, like I said, once a week. Now you're seeing today it was a Destiny animated uh, comedy. Then you also saw this video and now you're going to be seeing the grand the final six mission i'm not gonna lie these videos were supposed to be spread out but it was just like i said so much was happening that that's how they all got lumped together i really apologize for that i mean really i'm staying up late as hell trying to compile everything the best i can like it's one o'clock in the morning right now and it shows you i'm dedicated to giving you guys the highest quality content anyway y'all thanks again for watching once again this is being homeboy popular video games here make sure to like comment and subscribe for more peace out and talk to y'all later